guy who's you know, had every maximum of dice and have a half of that in his rest. Um, the four points from the spells are returned to you. We're normal again. Right. Well, that's debatable. Oh, here it's level 15, so you would have you get back eight of your own dice. Okay. 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 Um, What's the plan? Well, we're recovered. How does that sleep? Everyone sleep okay? Not great. Mm. Oh, she's right in the center. Yes. Let's go. As you guys make your way to the front door, you see kind of kind of leaning against uh, the wall of the front. Makes his knees kind of push to his chest, and he hasn't slept. He just big bag in front of his eyes. Uh, he's just staring for Tiny, is it? Do me a favor. Soak around this group a little bit later, otherwise I might kill you right now. So fall in line and pick your chin up. Not reacting. He acknowledges as you place it down, he doesn't bring any of this. Get up. We're leaving. And we're bringing him with us. Yeah. Stands up slowly. And kind of just follows you like a ghost right now. Um, what's the plan? Gotta find a tree. Here's a tree. I'm a tree. I'm a tree. I'm a tree. I mean, where are we going? Lightstream. Lightstream. Okay. Closest, biggest, fattest tree. Okay. Uh, it doesn't take you long. Uh, you've seen a few that'll work in your initial travel into the <coughs> here. You find one thick jungle tree that's probably uh, 35 feet up, slightly curving at the top. Uh, one of the few living uh, trees in this forest. And it, it's a nice, wide, solid trunk, so it's perfect for you to do this. Um, as you all gather around, making sure you have everything you need, a few of you reach out and touch and mark the space where the doorway is open. As you finish casting your spell, the, the uh, bark of this kind of striated palm tree type structure falls away into the entrance. And on the other side, you can see that brief kind of hazy glimmer of a cloud-covered day of white stone. You all quickly rush through one after another. Or closes behind as you all stand now leaping outside of the sun tree in the center of the main town square in Whitestone. Um, it is uh, getting close to it's just now the sun is setting. It's, uh, it's later in the afternoon evening. Um, Do we see anyone around? Do we get Pike? Do we go to Pike? Pike, yeah. Pike immediately. All right. There still is that faint shimmer on the sky above you. I uh, first view over my shoulders. My shoulders. Yeah. Um, as you guys arrive, uh, a number of people who live in Whitestone. Not like Yoda or anything. As as you guys begin walking uh, away from from the sun tree, you can see a bunch of of townsfolk and some guards begin to walk up to greet you, and uh, yeah. you return. I was immediately the energy is felt and everyone kind of steps away and gives you space. As you begin to see the uh, limp body of Percival um, being held over Rog's shoulder. Get Cassandra immediately. Tell right. them we're coming. Right. To prepare quarters. Right, right, uh, right away. Um, and the guard rushes off um, up towards the Castle Whitestone. Um, you guys walking towards the Castle Whitestone as well? Yeah, is it right? the temple? Is are she building a temple? There is a temple being built here, yes. In the castle? Or? Uh, no, the temple would be within the city itself. And that's where she was last? Last you saw her, yeah. Can we try the earrings? Does Pike have her earrings? Yeah, she's Pike? got her earrings, right? Pike, can you hear us? Pike, you who have been suffering a very sleepless night, um, feeling some 
amorphous heartbreak that you haven't been able to define yet that has prevented you from closing eyes without spells of sudden anxiety and sadness. Hear the voice come peeking through, and the immediacy of Vex's tone is both comforting and immediately confirming a terrible fright that you've had lingering in the back of your mind. Vex? Where are you, darling? I am in the kitchen. Where are you? Not to be wrong. We're coming to find you. Okay. It's uh, the simple. You guys beeline there, and the temple is still in, under construction, and the construction has been slow due to the fact that the scenario that currently exists on Taldorai, many folks instead are putting a lot of energy toward uh, defenses and you know training in case anything bad happens in White Sun. Uh, there are a few uh, worshippers that have converted to Serenite and are helping, but Pike is still the central place of what is a basic stone structure that is slowly moving out. As, as you approach, um, it's 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 pretty pretty much a hobble. Um, but is making its way. But as you approach, you can see the front door uh, open and there uh, Pike's form well hung kind of silver and uh, gold colored evening wear. Just her hair kind of tousled around her face. A little bit of wind that's blowing through, causing it to kind of tumble against one chin. She looks out to the rest of you with sadness across her eyes. I knew something was wrong. Where is he? Is anyone inside? You all make your way into this room, and there are two other people that are, that are kind of helping around. They're general townsfolk. They're not heavy into uh, any specific use aside from cleaning and, and helping construct. Um, but they go ahead and they bring a large cable out, and you guys set Percy on top of it. Hi. Can you do something? Can you help him? I, I'm going to try. We're here with you, Pike. Whatever we can do to help. We just okay. knew we couldn't do this without you. Um. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast Resurrection on him. Resurrection? What does that do? It just brings him back? Does Resurrection just bring him back? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, there are, there are two spells at your disposal. There is Resurrection, uh, which is a 7th level spell. Um, it has, costs a diamond worth a thousand gold, which if the spell consumes. Uh, or there is Raise Dead, which is a fifth level spell, um, which consumes a, a, a diamond worth 500 gold pieces, um, but the target has to be dead no longer than 10 days. Okay, so we could do that. What does the, Resurrection do? I mean, is there, is there a better... Same thing, but the person could be, have been dead for up to a century. Is there a better chance with Resurrection? It doesn't change the... I, I, I would say, being a seventh level spell, I would give a... A very faint modifier, depending. I don't know, Vex, we could save 500 gold. I bring out the best <laughs> diamond I have. <laughs> okay. Okay. There's a, I got a whole bag, a 40 pound bag of gems. Yes, you do. Oh, what did I ask? With, with Ray's Dead, is there. Is, uh, what is my question? How whole does he come back? Whole. With both spells, he comes back whole. I think it works. Well, you could save a little money. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. no. Oh, 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 how green does strange things. <laughs> oh, we could buy him a, 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 a better tombstone if we had the extra money. That's true. 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 Frederick Stein von Musel Kowalski Corona <laughs> the third. He needs a large ass diamond. Pull up the biggest one yet. I've got a thousand dollar diamond. Yeah, like, it's actually out. listed in my items. A thousand gold diamond. Right. Let's do it. He's a Dorona. He deserves the best. <laughs> okay. Pike, you begin to set the stage for the ritual. You begin to pull out uh, the the sage. You begin to to this, this this temple, as simple as it is, but simple as the nature of Serenry, one who does not have much worshipping influence in this world, and you know that she requires just enough, and the faith is stronger than the presentation. But you pull out the best you can. Uh, all the offerings that are necessary, you 
uh, scroll out various uh, divine runic symbols that represent healing, that represent connection to one's uh, divine entity, that represent uh, stalwartness and strength of heart, that represent love and family, everything you can think of that can that really binds this ritual uh, to the moment. And as you guys are kind of sitting around to prepare, you begin the incantation of the ritual. The first stage allows you to reach out and make contact with the spirit wherever it is. After five minutes of searching, you have no way of locating it. The spirit currently... something is blocking it. Like you know, it's out there. You can you can you can sense that that there is the essence of Percival, but it's it's like it's blurred and there's something blocking it, and you can't. The ritual's unable to reach out. How do I how do I find out what it is? Is there a way to find out what it is that's blocking it? Uh, you may have to. Can I you have to think about it? Insight check, or can I? Can I? Um, Faxes, old Faxes. Yeah, I, I pull out Ripley's gun. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, Ripley's gun. And then I hand it to Pike while she's still in her ritual to see if that has any effect. Okay. Um, as Keyleth hands you the gun, the that strange blockage becomes crystalline. What was once a dark spot that was just preventing you from clarifying your vision is now a clear patch of shadow. Uh, having seen this once before, Orthax is indeed blocking the ritual and is currently hungrily feasting on the soul of Percival. The gun? What? How do we tell? How do we? How do we? Do we, try, out? do we try and destroy the gun again? Do we do this again? What if we carve his name back onto the barrel? What if we? Uh, what if we use that scroll to go to him? Now? We can pull go him out. Percy? We can pull. We can pull Orthax through the gate. Or kill him on his home turf and kill him. For kill? Him. He's, He's a, a shadow thing. fiend. He's a shadow fiend. Does that mean we have to kill him on his own turf? Do we know? Do we know? Do we know? Uh, do we... I would say. Uh, Pike, go ahead and make a religion check, and uh, go ahead and make an intelligence check. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, can I make a religion check? Actually, yes, you can as well. Check. 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 29. Ooh, that's good, that's good. 11. Okay. Thank you. Um, holding this, the essence of Orthax, a shadow demon like this, um, Orthax was not destroyed and sent back to his plane. Orthax cannot be sent back to his plane when it's bound to whatever its uh, its, its crux is. What, what, whatever object that Orthax has used as its focus holds it in this plane, and it cannot be destroyed on this plane while it's attached to that object. So the gun right now is essentially the anchor that Orthax is using. Uh, we need to destroy the gun. We destroy, destroy, the destroy the gun. gun. Destroy the gun or find a way to break the connection. Didn't you detach... Craven Edge from me? Didn't you sever a thread? No. Didn't? Didn't that happen? Yeah. Can you, I did that? Can you do that? Yeah. Take it back. Yeah. Pike did that, right? How'd you do that, Pike? How'd you do that, Pike? I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. I don't even remember it. It happened to me. Um, I remember. Well, you're dead. Aren't you? This is no excuse. True. It wasn't it like a um greater restoration. Can we throw the gun into the bandish? Is there a way? Yeah, yeah, like the little hole under Whitestone Castle. It's also still acid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what if we drop the gun oh, just in front of too. the in front of the circle? Yeah. It cancels out the magic of it. Like yeah. throw it in the circle, yeah. or just bring it there. Yeah. I don't, but is it is it ma is it like an arcane magic like that? I don't no. know. Well, you could try. Like there is acid here. Yeah, it's yeah. the same exact thing. It's yeah. it just like the history stone. How? I, 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 I think it was right a restoration. That was right. That's what's ever. Mm-hmm.
You want to try and get a restoration spell? Is that what you're saying? On what? On the gun. Can you do that to a zombie? Yeah, that's what she did for. Uh, okay. Because there was a there was a she could see a, a thread that was connecting us. Okay. Okay. What are you doing, Pike? Uh, and then uh, I, to the gun? Is that even going to make any sense? Pike, I, I can try Greater Restoration if you want to save your healing magic. Yeah. Do you want to just try I mean, in case this doesn't work, I'll, yeah. um, I'll try and recreate what Pike, Pike did to Grog. Okay. So you, Grog okay. And, and so you take uh, Animus from her, the pepper box, uh, and even holding it, there's like this this dark weight to it. It feels like it's lead and coal in your hands. Um, as you concentrate, channeling the divine druidic energies that you currently are, are focusing into it, your vision comes to a similar dark, shadowy mass that Pike had seen during the attempt at the resurrection ritual. Um, you can see there is indeed um, a, a connection. There is a, a, a tangible gateway between this weapon and Orthax, the shadow demon. And they're enveloped in the darkness. You can just sense in your heart of hearts that's where Percy lies. As you begin to focus on greater restoration, you begin to feel the the nature of the curse that binds him to it. And you reach out in this space. And you guys watch as Kirk just reaches out into the air of nothing. But within your sight and your vision, you can see that thread and you grasp it. And as you hold it with your fingers, you feel it bite. And turn, you watch as Kilo's hand bolts around with nothing in her grasp. And you hear the voice whisper, No. No, I finally have him. I finally... And with that, you snap with your fist. The shadow <laughs> screams and vanishes. And there, you see a brief glimmer of light. The remaining spirit of Percival as it drifts off into the astral sea. I just... I scream, Percy! The spell finishes. The gun itself, you guys see a flash of shadow around it. Pike, go! All the names on the side vanish as well. The barrels are now clean. Pike, do it! Can I, 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 continue, I continue working on the resurrection spell. Okay. Um, as you go back into this ritual, that blockage is gone now, and you can see clear the somewhat tattered around the edges, but whole and existing soul of Percival. And the ritual makes connection. And with that, that that coldness becomes a warmth and a familiarity as you reach out and implore the spirit to take your attention and come back. Now, who wants to aid in this resurrection ritual? Who has something to offer as part of this skill challenge? All of them. I would like to inspire her, at least. Is that something that will help? Uh, inspiring whoever wants to be part of the ritual, yeah. Um, so yeah, you can go ahead and inspire. Um, can, I, uh, can I reach forward and, and, and look in Percy's coat for that um, that white stone, that condensed white stone that he carries? Sure, go ahead and make an investigation check. Uh, hey, Vex, will you look for that raven skull that I gave him while you're at it? Sure. Um, 25. 25. You start rummaging through his coat, and you find, um, you find his, his gun retort. <clears throat> um, you find a bunch of, of random bullet casings and bullets. You find a cluster of papers and notes that are folded up in a small book. And what appears to be a uh, partially sealed letter with no name on it. Um, you eventually find, um, some of the the white stone glass, the, the green glass that you guys had kind of flashed around in Ankarel. Does he still have the Raven Skull on him that gave him? Uh, the Raven Skull is still on him, yeah. He hangs on his neck. Okay. Um, well, there's a... It's, um... He says it's supposed to amplify magic. Right? Um, right. So I, um... I put it on his chest. Alright. Um... What do you want to offer to the skill challenge for this event? Something, something that that you as an individual bring to this and bring to the connection to Percy to try and. I say, uh, Percy, I don't know if you can hear me, but 
that day in Singhorn was one of the best moments of my life. And not because of what you think, it wasn't because of my father or the title, it was because of Whitestone. It was because of you. You allowed me to be a part of the thing that you hold dearest. And I'm so proud. But I don't want to be here if you're not. Whitestone still needs you, darling. I still need you here. And I lean down and I kiss him. And I say, I should have told you. It's yours. Please, no. Natural 20! <laughs> True love. Okay. Who else wants to add something to this ritual? Would I, Matt, would I inspire Pike? Or Percy? Or, or... If you want to inspire Pike, Pike can attempt to bring something to the ritual and they can use your inspiration die on top of what her check is. I see. Alright. I'll, I'll inspire Pike then. I assume she's going to bring something to the ritual. Right? I assume. <laughs> okay. So, how do you inspire her? I inspire her the only way I know how, which is being an ass. <laughs> That's so, I inspire her with a shitty limerick. Oh, no. <laughs> I know a, gun, a gunman with a white coiffa who acted evil and had a bad coiffa. He learned that someone had possessed his big gun, so I threw that shit in the lava. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you have you have a D twelve inspiration die, Pike. Um, what are, what do you want to try and bring to the ritual on top of of, of your casting the spell to, to to draw him back? What skill? What what type of? What do you want to bring to the ritual? I just. I, I don't know. I mean, just the love that we have for him. I don't know. He deserves the rest of it. I know, I know. Uh, you being the pious woman you are, you have, and what you've used in the past, religion has been optional. Your connection with Saren Rain is important. There are other skills you can think of that you want to bring to this as well. Uh, that you're good at that would fit the circumstance. You can try anything. Okay. How well it fits will depend on how high the difficulty class is. So. Right. I mean, I, I, I think clearly I would hope that Sarah and Ray would come in and, and step in and help in this. Can you sing? Can you sing, Pike, like you did for that little boy? Percy joined you then. I, I could. Didn't you have that thing that brings your your god to help once once a day or something? Divine intervention or yeah, something. Divine intervention. I I don't know. Can I use that along with this? I'll let you. Yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. Heck yeah. All right. Roll roll a d10. Let me know what you roll. First. Okay. What'd you roll? I rolled a three. Okay. Saren Ray is with you, but the intervention, the divine gate that separates the gods from the prime material plane still stands, and she's lending what energy she can in this moment. Um, imploring to her in the connection you do have through the divine gate, uh, I want you to go ahead and make a religion check. Roll d20, add your religion modifier. Oh, Okay. Do you want to add your D12 inspiration from Scanlan? Yes. That's 10. It's 28. 10, so 28. 28. Alright, gotcha. Alright. One 
final skill challenge check to make. Who wishes to add to this? Paladin. <laughs> Paladin, come on, Vax. I grab the skull. Hey, come on, snap it, snap it. Percy, Percy. We had many conversations about life and death. And in many ways, you are my total opposite. But you are also my best friend. And even though I told you on that day that I gave you this, <laughs> we're all gonna die, and that you can still be saved from yourself. And as crazy as your journey was far from over, and it still isn't. And then I'm going to pass Conjure Within Beings, and I'm going to have a barrage of crows come from around me. And I'm gonna tell him, as much as you might think, your journey is not over. Just because yours might be, ours isn't. And that's why I need you. That's why I need you. I am going to shoot out the wings and lend them to Percival as the crow he is. I'm going to send you the two of you on that. I need you to make a charisma ability check. Oh. With advantage because of Vax helping you. This is in particular a challenge for you because persuasion's already been used. You as your point of leadership, your strength of character, you're piercing through the veil and through the ritual to appeal to him as a person to another through sheer force of charismatic persuasion. With advantage. Oh, yeah, Percy die. Nineteen. You feel, Pike, the ritual begin to culminate. The divine energies lent to you by Saren Ray fill your form. And you watch as Pike's physical form now seems to overlap her divine form you've had at a distance. She is just this radiant golden image of herself, the same golden wings flaring up around her. And you watch as Percy's body begins to rise off the table, the arms and legs just limply hanging underneath, the chest rising up. The light from Pike begins to create a small well of divine energy that spirals down into his chest in blasts through him the table. The table itself cracks beneath him, yet he still remains aloft as the energy hits. The energy fades. The ritual completes the room. Grows still and cold and dark once more. Pike's divine form disperses into golden feathers that just drift and disappear across the wooden floor. First, his body slowly lands onto the table. Stillness. Stillness. That's the end his chest once more, unconscious as he is. The light is slowly returning to Percival as his color. His pale skin, pale as it's ever been, but now slowly stirring. Get your buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so quiet. Percy. Oh, 
This is too fucking much, man. <laughs> You're in a temple, don't curse. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, but he's still unconscious? Still unconscious. Oh, well, I just lay on hands. I'll take him out of that right away, okay? Thanks. Percival. <laughs> Back in your chair. Get your money out of South Park, I don't know about <laughs> <laughs> No Hamlet death for you. Right, let me take out the photo real fast. The same okay, guy, I the, like the same guy I've used for every resurrection roll. Take a break. Uh, if I wouldn't I would throw up. Actually, this would be a great time to go ahead and take a break. Oh. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and go and take a, a, a quick break. Good job, Ashley! Ashley, you did it! <laughs> Ashley! You have one job, Ashley! <laughs> one job! Good job. <laughs> Oh, those are some good rolls, man. Uh, and apparently a convincing... Because it was... It was a, I was really waiting for a text from Cal. No! Based on how the ritual went, whether or not Percival felt it was enough to bring him back. <laughs> you guys could have fucked it up so bad. <laughs> oh, no. So, we'll be back here in a number of minutes. Uh, Did we say the right thing? Clearly? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you on the camera this. All I know is that half the audience is going to be furious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys, we'll see you in a few minutes. Uh, how does Luke Quaid obtain such exquisite geeky gaming treasures every month? 